Hi everyone, Ishmael Kolya, Isha Realtor, Associate Broker with EXP Realty, as well as the Education Director for the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. I hope you had a fantastic weekend taking advantage of this wonderful weather that we're having in the fall. Uh, today's topic I wanted to talk about are appraisals. What are appraisals and why are they needed? And then the issues surrounding appraisals. So first of all, an appraisal is required by your mortgage company. When your mortgage company lends you money to buy a house, they want to make sure that the house is worth at least what they're lending you, if not at the, uh, at the price that you are buying the house. If they're lending you, let's say $400,000, the appraisal company wants to make sure, the mortgage company wants to make sure that the house is worth at least $400,000, if not more. And that is the purpose of the appraisal. When does the appraisal happen? It happens soon after both parties, the buyers and the sellers, have signed a contract and the property is fully in contract. That's when the appraisal is ordered. It costs about a few hundred dollars out of your pocket, often the, the buyer's pocket, uh, in order to pay for the appraisal. Appraiser is an individual who is licensed in this field to value uh, and find value of a property. So he or she goes out to the property, does a quick 15, 20 minute inspection of the property. It's not a property inspection that is done by the buyers before uh, making the before signing the contract, but rather a small uh, appraisal inspection to make sure that the heat is working, the hot water is running, there is a stove, there is a refrigerator, uh, there's carbon monoxide detectors and so forth. So it's a quick 15 minute walk through the house by the appraiser. And then the, the next piece of the appraiser's work is done on their computer. They look at other houses in the area with similar size and similar condition to this house and find out what are those houses selling for. Right, so let's imagine you're buying this house in a part of Yonkers and it's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1500 square feet with parking and basement and fully renovated and so forth. What are similar houses in half a mile radius of this house going for? Uh, are they going for a lot more? Are they going for a lot less? Are they going for pretty much the same? And so forth. Now, what are the outcomes after the appraisal is done? Once the appraisal is done, it takes about a week for your mortgage company to get the appraisal report and then the appraisal report will say it is that appraiser's professional opinion that this house is worth x dollar amount all right now this amount may be more than what you are buying for that's great news that means let's imagine that appraiser says the house is worth 410 and you're buying for 400. Well, that's great. You're buying something of value for 410, but you're buying it for $400,000. That's great news. Uh, and you don't have to pay the extra $10,000 or you don't have to pay the extra money out of your pocket. Next uh, outcome of the appraisal can be that you are buying the house for 400 and the appraiser also says the house is worth $400,000. So even Steven, nothing going on. You're buying the house for exactly what the appraiser says it is worth. The third outcome can be that the appraiser says that the house is worth less than what you are buying for. Let's say you're buying it for 400 again and the appraiser says the value of the house is 390. All right, so now we have an issue. We are buying a house for three nine. We're buying a house for 400,000, but the appraiser says it's really worth 390. What can happen in this situation? Number one, the seller can lower the price to 390 and we can continue with the purchase. The seller doesn't have to lower the price, but the seller can. All right, so that's one outcome. The seller would lower the price and we move forward with the purchase. Second outcome is seller says, I'm not willing to lower 10,000, but I'm willing to lower $5,000 of my price. And then the buyer will have to put $5,000 cash out of pocket uh, in order to purchase this house. Because remember, the mortgage company is not going to lend you this $10,000 shortage or the $5,000 of shortage. 
the mortgage company will only lend you up to what the appraiser says is the house is worth. So if the seller says, I'm not willing to lower my price by full 10, but I'm willing to lower by 5,000, the buyer can choose to put the other $5,000 out of pocket. The third option is, the third outcome is the seller may say, I'm not willing to lower my price at all. I'm willing to sell my house at the full 400 and the buyer can say, well, I still love the house. I don't want to lose out of the house. I'm willing to put the $10,000 out of my pocket as cash and that's fine too. And then the fourth uh, option, which no one likes and no one benefits from is the deal dies. Everybody goes back to square one. Seller's not willing to lower the price. The buyer's not willing to put money out of pocket. They're not willing to meet somewhere in the middle. And now, so no compromise. And therefore the deal is dead. Everybody goes to square one. The seller now has to go back in the market and look for another property, another buyer. And the buyer has to go in the market and look for another property. So this is the appraisal, the process, and the outcomes. Now the, the way to avoid any appraisal issues is at the beginning before you even make an offer. When you work with a real estate agent that knows what, what they're doing, before even making an offer, they will educate you by running comparable property search uh, in the area of the house that you have liked and want to make an offer. This uh, uh, real estate agent will send you comparable properties and say, hey, look, these are similar properties based on size and condition, and these are what they're selling for. So it is my professional opinion that we make an offer based on these comps or comparables, right? When you make a market value offer, you're going to not only have an accepted offer because that is the market value, that's what the seller is willing to sell the property for, but you will also have less appraisal issues or less chances of appraisal issues when the appraisal is conducted. All right, so that's a little bit about appraisals and how they are a, they are a part of the whole real estate transaction. Ishmael Kolia, reach out to me, 914-215-1540, 914-215-1540, if you'd like to go over the entire home buying process, and I have a nice PDF that I can email you as well. Uh, my email is ishyourrealtor at gmail.com, and my website where you can search for all kinds of properties is ishyourrealtor.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to connecting with you next week. Bye-bye.